Well, good morning, everybody. We spent the night in the truck sleeping on the dock like a couple of bandits. Yeah. Pirates, bums. What do you call it? We've been sleeping at the dock. <laughs> sleeping down on the dock. Um, but uh, we're going to make the ferry this morning. We didn't make the ferry last night. But uh, in the meantime, we were concerned about Mr. Bones not having a proper fitting life jacket. And uh, so we have him uh, all ready to go. Yeah, he's not too happy with it. But then again, he really doesn't care. You know why? He's dead! Okay, there's our boat. It's docked and they've gotten the cars off, I think. Um, it'll still be another few hours. We're gonna walk over here and go to Tim Hortons. And this is the ferry terminal where you can go to the bathroom or whatever in there, but th that's about the only thing you can do. And then these are all the people in line. And we are just on the other side of that white truck right there. Okay, here's the Tim Hortons right here. And this is the ferry terminal here. And then we are parked right just down there. So we're out here on the dock. We slept on the dock last night. And um, I don't know. They got everything locked down from COVID up here tight. I tell you, it's like the walking dead. And I am the zombie. Um, and who would be holding the skeleton? <laughs> um, you are holding a skeleton. That's true. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to walk over to Tim Hortons and try to get us a... Yeah, that's not uh, happening. Um, I tried uh, just on the other side of the terminal. Yeah, I will come back with the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I tried Tim Hortons situation and um, almost came back crying because uh, it was just uh, shocking to me that uh, on the other side of the terminal, you can walk out as long as you take your boarding paper and your um, ID uh, ticket and your personal photo, like driver's license. I was not with her. And um, I went to get us a, a drink and a sandwich this morning. And uh, they said, you, you, because the restaurants are closed, you can go through the, to the drive through window. Well, there were a lot of cars in the drive through window line. And I didn't know exactly where I should stand for them to know that I was there to place an order. And there was a car at the window and so I walked closer to the car to let the person inside Tim Hortons know that I was there and w asked them where they would like for me to stand. And as, as I approached the car, the lady said, she said, you just move on back right now. And you know, I had my mask on and everything. I was like, I threw my hands up in the air. I was like, I, I don't want no troubles here. I will back away. And oh, man, these people are crazy. Uh, they did not want me getting anywhere close to their, within six feet of their car, apparently, because I might infect them with COVID. But I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to get close to the car. I'm going to waller around <laughs> on their car. I'm going to take my mask off and cough all over them. No, you are not. I want to go over there and walk towards them just like a zombie from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Limping and coughing all, and hacking. All the, all the cars are like, like zoom out. Stuff draining out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to go at them like this. Uh, uh, uh. All right, we've had a little too much time on our hands waiting on the ferry. It is now um, 9, 10 Eastern time. Yeah. We are on Atlantic time, so it is 10, 10 in the morning. And our boat leaves at 12. So we are still waiting for them to um, start loading. Um, I guess they don't start loading until about an hour and a half before them, but they can get a crap load of cargo trailers and um, transfer trailers and semi trucks and cars on that boat. It's amazing. It's like there's, there's at least 45 uh, semis here. There's at least eight tran uh, transporters. Yeah, they could get all that on Moving there, but bands. They, they couldn't get us on there last they night. They couldn't get us on, on there last night, but we'll for sure get on there this morning. Maybe. Keep our fingers crossed. 
Uh, all right, it's been an adventure so far, but we're all good. We're all happy right here in our truck, our little home on the pavement down on the docks. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Hold on here. Subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> this channel is like crack. <laughs> All right. uh, thanks for all the comments guys we love you and don't forget to press that like button okay let's get on this ferry i want to go over here to tim hortons and kick some canadian butt <laughs> and get me a donut yeah. <laughs> in the process <laughs> wham 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 one donut please wham 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 <laughs> all right see you see ya Okay, they're loading them up now. Hopefully we'll get on that load. Apparently the truck drivers who paid double the amount to get on the boat get loaded first. So if there's enough of them, we wouldn't make this ferry either. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, he'll scan our tickets. And we have moved up finally. going on the bottom finally ramp. finally we're getting loaded transport bandits on the ferry well we are kind of pirates you know so, uh, this will count as a pirate ship i guess This is where we check in, and we'll get our little cabin here. Yeah, they've been very nice. And you're going to have a wonder room. Oh, yeah. Awesome. This is a nice ferry if the COVID wasn't going on. This would be pretty cool, like a cruise ship. Get a little videotape of what this would look like if we didn't have coronavirus. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Nicholas, Blanchard. Nicholas is going to show us around the boat. Yeah. And we're here with Mr. Dimples. This and is called the Colored Lounge. This is actually like the bar area. There's an arcade right here, but it, you can see that it's yeah. it pretty much uh, shut What down. a shame. So this is like top class ferry situation this here. Was, well, this boat was overseas, right? So this boat was kind of a more of a, a cruise ship kind of thing. This is the bar. Usually right here there's uh, live entertainment. Live entertainment we're missing out on. Uh, we've been at this more of like a seasonal boat during the summer months from June to September. And they actually do a 17 hour run from North City here to Argentina on the East Coast of New Plan. But with the pandemic and stuff, I doubt it's got, it was canceled last summer. Now this year they're hoping to do it, but by the looks of it, that it that yes, happen. it's kind of getting a setback. Yeah, and now I'm this way. Got a little gift shop. A little gift shop here. We have a gift Usually, shop. Gift shop here. Usually that's open. So when coronavirus is over, we're definitely going to make another trip well, up here to transport. This is like a game room if you want to play cards or awesome. board games. So, computer kiosk. If you all right, we're gonna look for cabin 8051. Nope, 8031, yep, this is ours. Right here, okay, good job. Okay, here's our room, our cabin, 8031 with the window, fantastic. Oh, I like it, it's so cute. So we've got a mattress and a blanket, pillows, towels, remote control. Here is the view, fantastic. 
I'm glad we're going in the day now, so it's kind of worked out for us. Oh yeah, this high class air man, bandits. We're living large. Um, that would be small, because this is a very <laughs> small cabin. But it's cool, though. It's all right. It's better than sitting, that tr it's sitting in the truck. Yeah, it's on the shower the bucket. Here's your shower. A toilet area. Okay, and they also provide you with um, some snacks. We've got us a sandwich here, an orange, and a bottle of water. And what did you get? Another sandwich, roast beef sandwich, bottled water, and an apple. So we felt food, even though we brought some more snacks. They said to bring some snacks and uh, drinks with you. And we will wait to sail away. Recording. Okay, well, we're doing Okay, hey. Hello, we're in our cabin. Transport bandits hit the high seas. And you know, we kind of thought about it. Maybe it was fortunate for us to um, have to sit on the dock all night and sleep in the truck because they said that it was definitely for sure that we wouldn't get a cabin with a window view. But we are the transport bandits, and uh, they know that uh, I like the scenery. Santé publique, a mis en place des mesures importantes pour limiter la propagation du COVID-19 au Canada. En rappel aux voyageurs. Vous tenez informé des mesures de lutte contre le COVID-19 qui s'appliquent dans la région où il se dirige et d'obtenir des mises à jour. Who <laughs> knew Jeff could speak French? <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Wait, Jeff! What? You should stop! Why? This obviously says no bottles, shot glasses, or flaming tacos in the toilet. All right, we're moving. Goodbye to Nova Scotia. We're headed to Newfoundland. commercial drivers to report to their vehicles for offloading and so we had a very quick trip it was smooth sailing so we got over here a lot faster than we thought it was we were. very short for me you know I slept the whole way the whole time he slept yeah <laughs> so he's only been on the ferry for like 10 15 minutes yeah <laughs> all right so let's head back now to see Gus and Mr. Moon bye Okay, we are pulling off now. Hey, welcome to Newfoundland. Corner Brook, please.
Okay, we're here on Newfoundland, and it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's getting dark now, and so we have to be really careful of moose because there's one of the highest concentration of moose in on the planet here on this island. There's like just this tiny island has what 31,000 population. 150,000 uh, moose on this island, so it's uh, got to be very careful at night. But check out the scenery; it's awesome. We're gonna make it up to uh, Deer Lake, uh, and then stop for the evening, and then take it on in the morning, so we don't have to ride at night. But check this out. Okay, we have made it to Deer Lake, and this is the one truck stop that we have come to after the ferry. We've been driving now for about three hours, and uh, we will stop at the Big Stop Irving Truck Stop in Deer Lake. All right, here is the Irving Truck Stop. All right, it's a dollar thirty-six point nine per liter, and there are three point seven five liters in a gallon. So that's the price of diesel here. We're not getting diesel though. We're good to go on our auxiliary tank. Okay, we're gonna stop here for the evening uh, at the Irving Big Stop. We'll just park it there for the night. And we're gonna hop in here to the truck stop and get us a cold drink and go to the bathroom. So good night everybody. We'll see you in the morning. They look like they have to go really badly. That's definitely me right now. <laughs> 